how to deep scan your Wii AG car with a special maintenance failure code reader. Now let's try this on a live vehicle. This is a Wii AG company car. It's an Audi A1 and we open the driver's side and go to the paddles. There are the paddles and if you are looking along the left side there is the OBD2 plug. So this is the port and this here is our plug from our device. Now we have to enter um, into the port with the plug and as you can see the device is booting. Good job. Now let's have a seat. Sit down right at the driver's side and you can see now the our device is ready to use. Let's go and switch on the ignition. You do not have to start the engine, you only have to switch on the ignition. Now let's have a look what's here. This is our device and we have so many options now. First step, mm, go up and down, enter and exit and let's change the language. There is German and English. Let's enter to English. Now we have to look. We can use the OBD2 diagnostics, the VA diagnostics, contrast. Contrast is here the brightness. And unit of measure, this is metric and English version information. There you can see the software and hardware version and the library version and of course the language. So first step we go to the OBD2 diagnostic. This is um, the feature which is available in every car which has an OBD2 port on board. So enter and now we are going into the vehicle. Linking in. Now some um, some informations are shared and as you can see we are in. Now read fault codes. No codes stored in the model. If some store, uh, stored code here you can erase codes of, of course. You can read the VIN vehicle identification number. This is nice if you are buying a new car or a used new car for you and there is a system protocol. So go back and now we're going into the system deeper because of the VAG. Mm -hmm. Let's go in. Common system. We are all systems. Service reset. This is nice. If um, the, the light of the service is on, you can make a service reset with this device. Nice. Throttle adaption. This is for um, get some settings and information about your throttle. And EPB replace brake pads. This is awesome. If you are going to change um, your brake at the at the rear side, you have to get the um, the the engine of uh, the brake at the back of your car to get uh, into the service um, position and this is made for this. This option you have to go enter and then um, switch to service and after this you are able to replace your disc and all other stuff at your um, um, brakes. So what is now? Common system in processing. Let's have a look there. Here, engine, ABS brakes, these are um, some diagnostic tools, instruments, all kinds of things you can read and erase, of course. So let's check the engine. Now it's uh, linking in. It's have, it has some protocols inside and if one of the protocols is matching, we will get enter in the system. Good job, now we are in. Now we are in at the engine. Control unit information you can read. There you can see with the VIN, the VIG. That means all components what are built in is here explained. 
exit and read fault codes. No codes are stored in the model now, but there should there could be some codes if you have um, have some um, some trouble in there. So and with this option here you can clear the fault codes and after this the, all the fault codes on this uh, diagnostic unit is um, deleted. This is nice and easy if you fix some problems and after this you can go to the um, to the the, um, the control unit and after this have you to do uh, um, deleting the failure codes. So easy as you can see. Nice device. The standard is OBD2 diagnostic and the killer application of this device is the VA diagnostic services protocol. This is nice really and it's easy to use, easy to know and it will help you a lot of out at your car. So there it is. We can go back to the exit main menu switch off the ignition and unplug the device there it is and so there's anything to do i have to say thanks for watching please subscribe me and give me a positive feedback and see you next time soon soon